happening on the Sunday morning. Good morning to you. I was asked you to guess, think touchdown leader for over half the season for a favorite Packer player of mine. I was going to guess Mason Crosby. <laughs> uh, touchdown leader. No, before. Oh, okay. I Jeff got you. Jeff just said in my ear two touchdowns. No, before you mentioned that. Can you believe this? Was. Spencer Havner. Wow. He's, he's like, is. watch the game. You'll see this guy in like almost every other play. Oh, he's like my favorite guy. This is a custom made jersey from the wow. Packers Pro Shop. Nice. I know. I'm really excited about the game today and excited for these warmer temperatures to move in like a lot of us are. I mean, we've been caught in the deep freeze. Speaking of which, of course, doing a little research back in the books, our warmest temperatures of the week are going to fall on what should be the coldest time of year, believe it or not. And in the spirit of the Packers, of course, gotta have that football fly up on the screen. Now, how about in Arizona? How's it looking for the game at kickoff? Mostly sunny skies, not a lot of wind whatsoever in around 70 degrees. Now, let's hope Mason Crosby doesn't pull one of these, right? Oh, wide right. <laughs> anyway, so that's a good forecast for the Packers. And I, we'd like to see these average highs around here. 28 degrees, that's what it should be. Now, how did we do yesterday? Nope, not again. 23 in Milwaukee now, just a degree or two warmer than that today. And then look out west. Rapid City, 4140 in Denver. The mild air is going to work its way our way, but not yet. If you're heading outside, it's cold out again. Three, that's it in Milwaukee. Five below Burlington, Lake Geneva, Port Washington, five, and only two in Fond du Lac and Sheboygan right now. And then you have to factor in the winds this morning that aren't strong, but it's still cold enough that you get a wind chill of 12 below in Waukesha, 15 below Whitewater, 11 below Milwaukee, and 14 below in Kenosha. That'll get your attention stepping outside. As far as those dew points, they're below zero, so another nice dry day, no lake effect whatsoever, but of course, bring the chapstick with you. Now look at satellite and radar. We're going to see a few clouds on the increase as the day goes on. See a little bit of light snow shower, maybe even a little patch or two of freezing drizzle. We could see a couple snowflakes, but that wouldn't be until late tonight. So there's some good news for you. Our day looking dry, plenty of sun, just those clouds gradually on the increase. And then tonight, it becomes cloudy, could see just a few snowflakes, mainly after midnight but nothing that looks to accumulate to much at all, even if you do see any snowflakes. And then tomorrow, maybe a morning snowflake or two, and then we start to clear things out by Monday night, and then Tuesday, mm-hmm, that's a lot of sunshine. And you'll love the temperatures coming up here. But today, not the warmest of days, 24 degrees, but it becomes breezy. You'll notice that, especially this afternoon, with clouds gradually on the increase. Now tonight, chance of a little light snow or a couple flurries, mainly overnight. And that's the story mainly for tomorrow morning. A little light snow or a couple of flurries out there in 26 degrees. Ready for Tuesday? 31. With plenty of sunshine and warmer for you. In our next seven days, Wednesday. Can't believe it. 37 degrees. And even on Thursday, that's above freezing as well, 36. Friday, a chance of maybe a flurry or snow shower in 30 degrees. And even on Saturday, at the freezing mark. Great news for those of us who like the warmer weather. Not so great news for snowmobilers, skiers, ice fisher people. You know, the ones who love winter. Thank you, Fish. Yep. Turning to sports now, a busy day on the hardwood for some local teams. And the Packers looking to sweep those Cardinals. Here's Rod Burks with their Daybreak Sports. Good morning, everyone. The Packers getting ready for their big playoff showdown with the Arizona Cardinals.